Yo, what it is? What's poppin'? How you doing? I hope you're having a great day. So, this video I want to talk about the different approaches in the dating field. And in, in particular, the approaches that I'm going to focus on are approaches that are promoted by two individuals that I have listened to their content. One of them I was even a Patreon subscriber of. And the other one I learned about afterwards. Um, but basically, I'm going to, I, I follow these individuals and they, they're, they're kind of popular on, social, on, the, um, on YouTube. So I want to talk about their two approaches versus each other. And how do I feel personally in my own personal life with with both approaches, with me having used both approaches and which approach turned out to be better. So here we go. So one individual, his name is ARC, Alan Roger Curry. And the other individual, he goes by Alpha Male Strategies. So let's go. So I found out about Alan Roger Curry because how did I find out about him? I basically found out about him by, you know, I'm, I watch a lot of YouTube videos on, on relationships, politics, uh, you know, history, um, animal life, things like that. You know, I have a very vast or a very, you know, uh, a very vast interest on YouTube, a very broad interest. So, but mainly those are the, the subjects that I mentioned are the main subjects that I, I watch a lot of. So I kept seeing, you know, in the suggestion box, I kept seeing his videos come up, you know, and at first I just looked at it and I, you know, I didn't, I didn't click on it, but I just kept seeing it. You know, I kept seeing, you know, his face, his, his famous steel shot, his famous thumbnail with the drink. And I said, you know what? I find then I finally I forgot the the name of the video, but I finally saw a title that interests me, and I decided to click on it. And upon clicking on it, I was like, oh man, this this guy, you know, Alan Roger Curry, he got some good points, man. I, li I like I like his points, you know. And as far as him talking about the mode one approach and the direct approach, I was like, that that you know that makes a lot of sense. And so I kept watching some of his videos, but a lot of his videos, um, I guess he used to, before, you know, YouTube made it harder for content creators to make money off of, off of YouTube. You know, a lot of his videos, I guess, were, you know, were on there, you know, because you could make money. Uh, you know, content creators can make money off of, off of just having videos on YouTube. But when you, YouTube tightened up the rules, it became harder for content creators to make money. And so a lot of content creators then switch their their platform to Patreon and other things like, you know, and other sites along those lines. And so a lot of his videos, he would talk, a, you know, talk in a sense ramble a lot, but I, you know, I didn't mind cuz he he was entertaining and he would ramble a lot and then he would he would drop some game but then he would say, in order to get the rest of the game, you got to sub 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 subscribe to his Patreon ch channel. And so I was like, you know what, man? You know what? He, he's dropping, you know, he's, 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 he's drawing me in. He's, he, he's making some good points. It makes a lot of sense. Let me go ahead and, and uh, you know, become a Patreon. And so after like a month or so, I became a Patreon. You know, I became a, 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 a $10 one, I believe. You know, I became a $10 Patreon of ARC and I watched all his videos, man. I mean, but, you know, and, and I learned a lot, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I learned a lot, you know, his, his approach, the mode one approach is very effective. You know, I learned a lot, you know, I was like, man, you know, this, you know, he has some, some very valid points. He, you know, a lot of his insights, I, you know, I, and took them. And I was like, I can use them. I can apply them in my life. 
and you know it made a lot of sense so i'm not going to say that it does not make a lot of sense the mode one approach makes a lot of sense and in addition to that i was like i bought some of his audio books i, I got some of his audio books i got the uh the beta male one uh i got the uh the uh, uh what's it um what's it talk not talk dirty to him basically i have i purchased all his audio books and his physical book uh mo one book uh, i purchased that as well and and the audio so i purchased all all his all his stuff and i listened to him on a on more than once you know because i wanted you know usually you got to listen to things more than once in order to fully get the get a grasp grasp on it and so i listened i listened i kept listening and uh learning a lot you know each time learning more and so i then applied i then decided while i was in brazil because i listened to a majority of his videos while i was on vacation in brazil i had time you know so i listened to i basically watched all his stuff on patreon up until you know because i was there for a few weeks and uh listen and re-listen to his audio books all in that span of time and i said you know what i'm going to try this method now i will say this it is not it's not that i haven't in times of my life been mode one with women you know in past times in my life i had been mode one in some instances with women you know and i wasn't coming as a beta male i, I don't consider myself a beta male i may have been a as he says a alpha male with beta traits so in past times in my life i had used some of mode one but i didn't know i didn't identify it as mode one i didn't identify it as this is mode one this is what i'm using but after listening to him i was like you know what now i now i know this is mode one i'm going to try it i'm going to implement this this technique while in brazil because i spoke i speak portuguese so i can i said i can do it i speak portuguese so i can go i can go up to women and let them know how i really feel and what i found is um for the most part um i got a lot of rejections you know i got a lot of rejections uh pretty much yeah pretty much it was more rejectors i pretty much got a lot of rejectors i don't think i got any reciprocators and manipulative time wasters you know i probably got rid of them by being direct but pretty much i got a lot of rejectors you know and you know I, and i understand that's a part of you know a part of it like you're not mo one doesn't guarantee you that you're gonna have sex like it doesn't guarantee you that you that your success ratio is going to go up all it all it really guarantees you is that you're not going to really waste your time you know you're not going to waste your time with two types of women or maybe just one and that's the uh uh the time waster manipulative time waster you're not going to waste your time with those type of women and maybe the rejectors and the reciprocators because you're going to get right to the point with them they're going to tell you yes or no um but yeah so i i like that but yeah as i said i got a lot more rejectors and uh even upon coming back to the states i continue to use the mode one approach and i found that i got some you know some i got I still got a lot of rejectors but with some women they they would they like that direct they like that bold and direct and upfront approach and they you know they was even like wow i never had a man just come at me so bold and direct like that but you know and i would get their numbers but it would lead to nowhere and so along the time too while i was whilst i was watching arc's videos i began to see 
to see another individual in the suggestion box start to pop up. And that was AMS. And at, at first, I didn't look at his videos because I'm like, oh, I think uh, one of his videos, he, uh, he, uh, he went against the mode one approach. And I think that was a video that I eventually uh, clicked on. But for the most part, I would, you know, I didn't, I didn't look at his videos to be honest, because I was like, look at this, you know, good looking motherfucker. Like, you know, uh, you know, of course he's going to have success with women, you know, look, you know, I, just looking at his thumbnail, you know, he not a bad looking brother, you know, no homo, you know what I'm saying? But I, I can keep it real. You know, he wasn't no, no grotesque dude. Like he looked, he looked from just his thumbnail that, yeah, he, you going to have a lot of success with women. So that's why I didn't immediately click on it. But, you know, when I finally decided to click on it, I looked at that one video where he was basically, I guess, disagreeing with Mo One Approach and why it doesn't work. And I was like, okay, okay, he's, he's making some points. And then after that, I didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't pretty much, I didn't look at any more of his videos. But I continue to be a, a patron of uh, ARC, you know, even reaching out to him because, you know, I begin to have doubts. You know, I even I remember one email, you know, if he sees this video, I don't know. He has I'm pretty sure he has thousands of emails coming to him. But I remember one email, I sent him a picture of me and I'm like, man, is it me? You know, uh, you know, because I remember one video he talked about. You may be going after women out of your league. And so I sent him a picture of me like, hey, man, you know, uh, is it me, man? I mean, like, you know, I'm, I'm doing I'm being mode one. But what I'm finding is I'm, I'm not having much success. Like, am I basically I'm having success, but I'm not having success with the women with women with the women I want. I'm having success with the women I'm not attracted to, the, the women I don't want, you know what I mean? And, uh, well, really, I'm not even going at, at them like that, but they are the ones that's showing interest. But I sent them the photo, and I'm like, look, hey, man, you know, ARC, is it me, or, you know, you know, what do you think? Am I, am I, am I wrong for going after uh, tens? Should I, should I go after maybe, you know, and keep it real with me, man, I mean, should I go after, because you said it in a video, should I go after sevens and sixes and fives? I mean, you know, what is, is it, you know, am I, am I wrong for setting my set sights too high? And basically what he said was, uh, no, you're not wrong. You know, you, uh, you, you look, basically said you look like the type that will attract a lot of white chicks. You know, you got the style and, and, you know, that you will attract a lot of other races of chicks. You know what I'm saying? So basically in so many words, you said I wasn't wrong for, uh, 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 going after uh uh tens and whatnot he was he said i wasn't wrong and i said okay cool and i'm gonna give you and also i reached out him to out to to him too in one situation in which i was like because he was he said that uh it's a video where he said you shouldn't mess with certain women that you shouldn't mess with you know i guess women at work or uh in other situations like that. But basically I reached out to him because uh, I had taken in a roommate, you know, to rent out one of my rooms because I wanted to get some more income. And so I had taken in this uh, Latino woman, you know, a Latino, a, a Latino chick. And so a Latina. And so basically I was getting at ARC because I felt that the, that the chick was kind of giving me signs, like, you know, of interest. And so I get I got at ARC, and I'm like, ARC, man, this is the situation, you know. And to give a backdrop, like, when she first came to look at the room, I really didn't want to give it to her because I know myself. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, I can't say this woman. Like, that's going to be too much temptation for me. You know what I mean? I know myself. So I was I was showing her the room, but I wasn't expecting. I was like, I kind of didn't clean up the spot, so I was hoping that it would like turn her off. But she ended up wanting it. She was like, and she even said, "Hey, you know, she tech after after she saw the room, she then she uh she's like, okay, I'll be in contact." She texted me about 
10, I'd say about 20 minutes later, like, I'll take it. And she's like, hey, and I'll even help clean up the place. You know what I mean? And I'm like, damn, what can I say? I can't say no now because, you know, that might be considered discriminatory in, 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 in uh, you know, on the Craigslist postings. But anyway, so to, to fast forward back to what I was saying. So anyway, she, you know, I I started to notice that, you know, she I might, you know, she kind of seemed like she might have some interest interest in me, you know. And so I got at ARC like, hey, man, should I, you know, should I just get mode one with her? And, uh, you know, he kept it real. He's like, he's like, well, he told me the options. Like, if I do, you know, it's a possibility that I can, it can mess up that whole roommate situation that, you know, she can catch feelings and basically, you know, it can mess up the business, the business end of it. And, but, you know, he also said, you know, it, 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 it might not, it might not as well. You know what I mean? So, but basically you decide, you know, you, you decide what you want to do. You know what I mean? And so I thought about it and I'm like, forget it. So I went for it. You know, I, I, be, I went mode one with her. And upon going mode one with her, I did get it. You know what I'm saying? I did. I, I ended up hitting it. And uh, I hit it multiple times. You know, I ended up hitting it multiple times. It got to the point where I didn't want to hit it, but she would knock on my door begging me to hit it. You know what I'm saying? So it got to that point to where it's like, damn, she's, you know, she's catching feelings and whatnot. As he said, what happened? You know, and uh, eventually she moved out, you know. But... You know, it was a good experience because it didn't mess up the money. I still got my money, but I felt that if I, you know, if I, maybe if I didn't take it there, she, I could have, she could have still stayed longer. I could have still got more money out of it. So I say all that to say is that basically looking at the mode one approach, it, it's going to work. If, if, if you are Justin Timberlake, Justin Bieber, Chris Brown, Usher, Brad Pitt, individuals like that, the mode one approach will work with with nines and tens because those those type of brothers or those type of men attract nines and tens, you know, in abundance and they're famous. But if you're the average Joe, you know, it may not fare as well for you. You know what I mean? It may not fare as well. You may not attract a lot of nines and tens, but sixes and fives and fours. You know what I mean? And what? And this is where AMC comes in, because so after you know some months of seeing, I started to watch his video. I'm like, oh, you know, those guys are interesting. You know what I'm saying? And for financial reasons, uh, you know, and because I felt like I got all I needed to get. Out of his approach, I stopped becoming. I stopped as a Patreon with uh, with ARC because I felt like I got I, I I got what I needed. Like I don't I didn't as he said because he he even says that some some guys have come in and they just need to tighten up. You know what I mean? So I I was that type of guy. I was that type of guy. I didn't. I was not a, a complete beta male or incel. You know what I'm saying? I've been getting pussy for a long time. You know what I mean? I, I mean. I didn't, it, I didn't have my days, man. You know what I mean? I didn't have my my moments where it was in abundance. Like, I had a large rotation, as uh, AMC uh, uh, talks about. So, I I came into it as a guy that I, I, need, I just need to t tighten up, you know, in, in these areas. And once I get that, I, then I can just, you know, move on. And so, I stopped, I stopped being a patron of a, uh, ARC, and, I you know, I started to watch... Uh, AMS videos more, you know, and he, he was making a lot of sense, you know, and I and it really resonated with me because he was talking about more, you know, focus on your purpose, you know, get your stuff together, you know. Uh, he also what also attracted to me because what what ARC didn't didn't do is he that he basically he doesn't criticize women much because you know and if he hasn't had a lot of bad experiences with women or or you know in the games that they play then you know how could he criticize them but what amc did is he criticizes the the fuckery or the games that women can play and basically saying how we can use that 
against them. You know what I mean? That basically they fuck over man. They use man to their advantage. They waste man's time. We are, we are aware of that. Now we know they do that. Now this is what we need to do. Instead of bitching and complaining about it and, and saying MGTOW and all oh, women ain't shit and all this, all this bullshit, I'm going my own way. Okay, let's use that against them. Yeah, we know they do that, but let's do the, let's use that shit against them. And basically, you know, that made sense. You know what I mean? That made sense with me. So I'm like, okay. You know, I said, okay. So I started watching more of his videos. And I'm like, okay. It, And also, I started to see where his approach works. What may, may work more than with the, the Mo One approach in that, that, he says, with the Mo One approach, you will leave a lot of ass on the table. And I can really see that. I can see that in my own personal experience. Meaning that, like I said, if you're not a, a Justin Bieber leg, a Justin, uh, <laughs> Justin Timberlake, uh, Justin Bieber, Chris Brown type of guy, uh, a lot of these, you're not going to pull a lot of these 10s by being Mo One, bro. You know, and that's just that's just the reality of it. You know what I mean? You you gonna as a matter of fact, with these women, you they may have had they may have seen you as an on that scale of one to ten, they may have seen you as a, a five or six, but by you being Mo one, you know, and when they see you as a five or six, in my own personal experience, you can boost that attraction through your seduction. And so, but with Mo One, if you just come out, come out and let them know, hey, this is what I want. So if you just want sex or whatever, you could push them away, you know. Whereas the, the the fours and fives, who may have a high interest in you, which is usually going to be if you're not those stars that stars that I name, it's usually if you're just the average Joe, it's usually going to be women that really don't do it for you, that you're not really attracted to. Uh, yeah, you're going to get them, but you're not, they don't really do it for you. You know what I'm saying? So, and I can apply, I can see how the AMC approach works in the sense that you don't leave that, that ass on the table by being mode one. Basically, if they see you as a five or six, then you can use, you can start from there and build their attraction. And there, and there has been many instances in my life where... I had women like that. Women that seen me, may have seen me as a five, a six, or a seven to them. And I was able to use use that, use that approach and then build their attraction up to where I was able to smash, right? And I also as you know, as but it, it could go against you too, because you know, you can you can run into women that are, are, are just wasting your time. And I've experienced that too. I've experienced by using that kind of indirect approach, women that wasted my damn time and my, and my damn money. But so with the, but the, the thing about the AMC approach is that he, he, he gives you a time limit. Okay. Where I didn't do in the past. I didn't have a time limit. I just, I just kept going to, I, I felt like, okay, yeah, she is wasting my damn time or I got frustrated. But he gives a time limit. He said, okay, if after two or three dates you ain't you ain't smashed yet, then you should probably move on. Or, and also, you shouldn't invest a lot of money until you smash. You know what I mean? So you should keep your shit cheap, which I didn't do in the past. You know what I mean? And why I end up being mad. You know what I mean? Frustrated. You know what I mean? Because of... Uh, it was time I spent a hundred plus. I remember one chick, you know, I was I was trying to get with, and I and she was like, you know, I, I approached her, you know, at the lake. You know, I'm like, hey, let's get together. Got our number, exchanged information, and we set up a date. And I was trying to take her, you know, I was trying to I was trying to be cheap. I wasn't trying to, uh, you know, I was like, let's go to a, a not a Denny's, but you know, a little bit up like a, a what is a Chevy's or something like that, a TGF. Friday when they had those open, I'm like, let's go there. She's like, nah, that's too cheap for me. She like, we need to go to Benny Hanna's and shit. 
And I'm like, damn, you know what I mean? I, I was resistant, but I'm like, damn, this, this girl bad, man. You know, let me go ahead. Maybe, you know, maybe that's what it takes to get her. You know what I mean? And I went ahead and let her and had her and let her allow her to let me to take her out to this old expensive ass restaurant. And what ended up happening is she we get there and the, and the woman just start ordering everything off the fucking menu. You know what I'm saying? And I'm looking like, damn, I didn't want to say nothing because I don't want to be, you know, you know, seen like a, a cheap guy or whatever. But I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like, damn, this woman, you know what I'm saying? And so, uh, so yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you know, before learning these strategies, yeah, I was that guy that, that uh, ran into these time wasters and allowed them to waste my time. But with the AMC strategy, he fine tunes that to where, you know, he says, look, you know, there's a limit and try not to invest so much money before you smash. And so I said, okay, that makes sense that, 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 and, and by doing that, also, you don't leave a lot of ass on the table, but you limit the amount of time that that woman can waste of your time and the amount of investment financially that you put into that. And so all in all, to wrap this up, the a the Alan Roger Roger Curry approach, it works. If a woman has high interest in you, uh it works because you could just be direct and say, hey, this is what I want. And you know, she's gonna reciprocate. If she has high interest in you, it works with time wasters, okay, and it and with rejectors because they just gonna let you know right off the bat. Uh, the only thing is, as as AMC says, it can leave a lot of ass on the table. It can leave a lot of ass on the table. You know what I mean? And if if you're not Brad Pitt, if you're not Boris Cujo, Idris Alba, you know, Justin Bieber, um, where they can get those type of men, can get dimes, can get tens, and can be direct with them, then if you're the average Joe, you will leave a lot of ass on the table. Because a lot of those tens and nines are going to see you as sixes and five, as fives and sixes, and so they, if a five, as a five and a six, as AMS, as AMS says, and as I also experience in my own life, you can raise, you can raise their attraction level and eventually smash. You did, and so that's the that's the method with AMC, AMC alpha male strategies method is that, you know, basically, don't leave no ass on the table. Don't leave no ass on the table, brothers. Unless you fit into those categories that I mentioned. Well, so both, both at the end of the day, both of them have their merits. Uh, and both of them have their, their cons. But I think that, you know, just depending on who you are, one method may work good for you. And, and, and a, one method may not work good for you. And the other method may work good for you. Um, I would say this though, I can see how the Mo One approach probably worked for Alan Ro Roger Curry, because there's been plenty of times where I didn't talk to to sisters sisters, in particularly, in which they equate good looking with being light skinned and having curly hair. Don't matter what the face or the face or the features look like, as long as he he was light skinned and had curly hair. He was good looking to them. And that's what ARC is. He's light skinned and he has curly hair. So, you know, that could have worked to his favor. That could have worked to his uh, advantage. As if you're not, you don't fit into that prototype, it won't work to your, your advantage. So, that's all I have to say. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Y'all have a good one.